Hi everyone, it's Denise Reed. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel, Bramble Reed. If you're looking for all things paper mache, you have come to the right channel. For the past couple of weeks, I have been focusing on the paper mache earrings. This week, I'm going to show you how I made the circle hoop earrings for different DIY styles. For the best creative DIY craft content, subscribe to my channel and be sure to hit that bell to be notified when I upload a post every Tuesday. I have a Facebook page that is dedicated to DIY crafts and fashion that you are able to join. Now it's your turn. Hi guys, so this week we're going to be creating the circle hoop earrings for DIY styles. And these are the ones that we made last week where we hand rolled those spaghetti strips. Okay, and what I like about these is they're very like, these are the two earring pairs and they're very organic. One's smaller, one's a little bit thicker, it dips in and out. The way I created these ones, what I did put a hole through here so that it looks like this. With these ones, I didn't. I just let it so it can go around, but even these two are still very organic looking. They look smaller, one's thicker. So this week, I started this one, but I want to show you how I did it. And this week, I'm not going to do it with my hand. I'm going to be using this um, polymer clay extruder. This is a whole bunch of clays mixed together. I have the paper clay, the porcelain clay, and my attempt at making pol um, polymer clay. One is really dry. So if, so what I'm going to do is add some of the moist part in here, just so that when I'm creating this it doesn't crack like I want it to crack but I don't want it to crack and not be usable okay so instead of hand rolling it I'm going to put it in the machine and I'm going to use this size which is the biggest size that they have Now you're gonna choose what size of hoop or circle earrings you want. I'm gonna choose the smaller size because I know that this side is not going to shrink a lot. Cause these are the same size and look at the shrinkage. This is a nice kind of earring, which I said I'll do the next one like that. But yeah, you see the shrinkage is a lot. This one didn't have that much shrinkage. Um, and this is that recipe the new recipe that I did create. So you're going to take your size or now before you do that, I want to just add some of my my additional texture onto my hoop. So I'm just doing this so that it gets small and then on the parts that are purple I'm going to add that and slightly roll it and the parts that are teal, I think it's a teal color. I'm going to add this portion. Okay. Then I want to also sorely I want to just cut my I want to cut this in half. So I'm working with a smaller, smaller piece. Now, if you're going to add different colors or multiple colors on here, how about we add some of this? This is a nice color, purple. Awesome. Now, remember, this is the one that I extruded. Um, you don't have to leave the colors the way it is or the size, you can add it and then it just gives you a little bit of a texture. So then I'm just gonna slowly roll it so that I'm pressing it in a little light. Now guys, these are the exact same as what I told you from before in regards to not getting these things dry. So, 
because once you dry it it's going to crack and we don't want it to crack. So we're going to take the size that we want and we're going to wrap it around. So what you want to do is you want to give it a miter cut. So one side will be 90, the other side you put it on it, then you can see where you're going to cut because you want the piece flush. So you're going to go on the inside and instead of cutting it this way, you're going to cut it so that this part is closer. Oops. Sorry. That's a little bit too much. Okay. And then that's going to wrap over. Okay. That's going to be your earring. And I like the way the clay is cracked. Like, I think it's so cool. Comment down below and let me know if there's a noticeable difference between the hand rolled strings or the extruder strings. This is going to be like a hoop earring. I have this, but you can literally use anything. You can use a lid, you can use a cup. I would put saran wrap on the bottom of whatever it is that I'm using. And I showed you last week how to roll this out. I will insert the video here, but just a reminder, you use your palm and you just keep rolling it if it goes flat, you roll it with your fingers. If your ends get um, dry, I always have water because I'm working with the paper mache porcelain clay material that I created. Okay, now I don't know if I want these earrings to be this boring or if I want to add, juice them up and put something on it. Um, Maybe I'll leave it for now like this. And all you're going to do, you're going to put it around. And you're going to do like a miter if you're doing some construction. Miter goes one way. Oops. Oh my goodness, sorry. And then this portion here has to come. So then you flick it so that it goes the opposite way, right? So now this one goes this way. And oops. Now what you're going to do is you're going to make some paper mache paste. And all you're doing is taking some of your paper mache, you're going to put water on the exact same piece that you cut off.
Now that you know how to make the circle hoop earrings for different DIY styles, I have written a guide on different designing platforms that will help you take those creative juices out of your head and put on a digital platform. I have included a list of tutorials that will help you understand these platforms better. You can download the guide at the link in the description box. Also, I do have that Facebook page where you are able to upload your different DIY crafts. You can check out the link in the description box. Check out any of my paper mache tutorials and my upcoming tutorial that will be posted next Tuesday. If you like this content, hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and share the content with your family and friends. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next week.